Isn't it a bad idea for someone who has any type of autoimmunity to take anything that boasts itself as an immune booster? I tend to think of uh, if your immune system is attacking you, why do you want to make it stronger? Or am I off base on that? So it, it, that's a more complicated question than yes or no. It depends on what's in that immune booster and what they're trying to accomplish. It's kind of the reason why I like peptides, because you really can focus I know that this does this pathway, uh, attacks this pathway or affects the, the uh, production of these inflammatory cells or chemicals. And so I know this is going to do what we need for you as opposed to uh, as opposed to not really knowing what we're dealing with immune booster. But you're correct. You, there are several even peptides you have to be careful with. LL37 is a perfect example. It's a great uh, um, there's some great protocols for treating Lyme disease with LL37. It's a um, pore forming. So it forms a pore in a hole in the wall of the cell, allowing mm -hmm. other things to get in. But if you give this to someone, we know that LL37 is naturally produced by patients. But if they, if you give this to someone with psoriasis, for example, they already create quite a bit of LL37 and it's part of their disease process. So you really do have to be cautious also, in general, when you're treating patients, uh, even even treating uh, bodybuilders, if they have a component of inflammation that is present to begin with, you really want to calm that that inflammatory storm before you begin things like uh, growth hormone uh, or or even CJC epimorelin or the um, uh, the LR3. You have to be careful with those because if you're upregulating the production, the biogenesis of mitochondria and or the, the function of those mitochondria, they're creating reactive oxygen species, which are doing more damage if you start there. If instead you calm the inflammatory mm. storm first, then you can add those on and that amount of reactive oxygen species that you naturally create through the use of mitochondria isn't going to be a problem for you. Thank you.